Well, well, well. Hello, all my machine heads, and how are you all doing today? I'm doing awesome. I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Well, I made some decisions, and I want to thank you guys all for your input because we've added you guys. How's that sound? This will be my second realistic, super, super realistic gameplay. Uh, I went back to Calmston Farms since the update was done and since I fixed my computer. And we are going to do this on a ultra-realistic, same as we tried the first time. Extreme. Except I'm going to make a few decisions. And one of the decisions are, if it's raining, we fast forward. If we're done with the day, we fast forward. We just get through the days. Um, but we don't go super fast. Well, welcome to my dairy farm up here. Up on the hill, let me show you where we're at. Do 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 do. We are all the way up in the corner. I built a placeable section. We are gonna try to get to five thousand cows on this map, because that is what my pens are edited for. Uh, I decided not to do this uh, a let's play with multiplayer because I have a lot of modded uh, stuff in this. But I got great news! Great news! Great news! The most awesome news is Tuesday nights at 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will do multiplayer on Hastings, North Dakota, the 16X map. Now, I am going to take it and set it up every week where it's a first come, first serve. First come, first uh, available slots. I'm only going to let three people come on and play. Uh, I, I would, you could try... Um, Council players can try, but I don't think you can get the same mods as me. Um, I was informed by Grizzly Bear Sims that I can leave my Sim dashboard in if I want. Um, and I think what I'll do is uh, I'll use it uh, on this one, on this map, on Calmston, and I'll use it on Old, or, yeah, Old Stream Farms, but I won't use it on the multiplayer. So that'll be fair to you guys, so you won't have to worry about it. Um, I will make sure that when we load up that map, that we generally will, I will have everything from the in-game mod hub, and that's it. So it would be pretty easy to get the mods. Uh, maybe there might be a few sprinkled in there that I forgot about that I got from someplace else. Uh, unfortunately, that'll be up to you guys to find them. But it'll be cool every Tuesday night. Now remember, I uh, record late night, so if you want to be on the recording, I also watched a video from Farmer Klein today on uh, how to set up voice chat you can actually set it up so please 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 make sure you have a microphone available uh, so that we can talk in game uh, I want people that don't care about their voice being on a recording uh, if not if you, if you do have a problem I'm still gonna all is welcome all, all, all is welcome uh, I just will won't turn your voice chat on so you won't be able, you'll have to type on screen which is not the end of the world it's absolutely still gonna be fun also, it is not going to be coming on and building your own farm. That is not what it's doing. You are going to be a member of Fury Machines Farm, and we are going to be working together. Uh, we're going to be on a rotating basis. So if you come on and you help me one day, uh, one week, then the next week it'll be somebody else's turn. Uh, now, if I don't get any, um, let's head over to, uh, back to our regular farm. I also put up a multi-buy station until we get some stuff going here because we're going to buy cows right away here. So I just bought this little Mahindra because I didn't want to run all the way up here. I wanted to uh, drive up here. It was pretty quick. Um, yeah, so we're going to buy their total mix ration at first and that is for Ranger because he always, Mr. OG, always nails me to the wall because I always start my farms with um, just hay, which is, would be realistic. But he keeps reminding me to do the um, total mix ration. So we're going to play it off in this Let's Play that we... This is the co-op. This is what Fury grew up with, to be honest with you. Uh, dead serious, uh, except this is European. But we're going to do a case farm. This is the co-op. This is where you come and you sell your stuff. Um, you guys all know. All of you guys are pretty aware. You buy your fuel there. You got one cell point in there. You got one cell point in here. So we do got a little fluctuation. But it's right next to our farm. Right over here is where we sell our bales if we want. Which we're not going to. We're not going to use bales on this map. 
Uh, I'll give you a quick tour of my farm real quick, even though we've already shown you a couple of times. And then we'll get busy. Now, this is going to be... Okay, I saw it. I'm going to try to get them. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Holy crap. How did I get out there? I saw it. I saw it. I already got one for Triple D Honey already. Ready? And I learned how to do this. I watched a video on this. Ready? Ta-ding! There are nine more cows to be found. I already found one. I found one tractor and one cow. So if I do come across them, I'm going to bring them. I'm going to pick them up. Um, I also got to take a loan out. I'm going to take it out while you guys see it on camera. So let's do that now. So I don't forget. Let's go here. We're going to borrow one million gazillion gazillion dollars in the famous words of Dr. Evil. One million dollars. Um, unfortunately, it puts us a million dollars in debt. But uh, it'll be cool. I am looking forward to it because this I'm going to have this Let's Play realistic. And I'm going to have uh, the Old Stream Farms realistic. And those are going to be my Let's Plays during the week. Tuesday... Uh, will be my one and only day that's dedicated to multiplayer. So it'll be once a week, and it'll be fun, because we'll come on with three or four of us, and we'll go on Hastings, the 16X map, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll try to get some of that feel, those maps done over there. There it is. Okay, so you can still take out more. I don't know how much you can take out in this. Uh, but I'm going to head down to the store because I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to buy us. We are going to go a New Holland farm on this. Um, I downloaded. Look at that. Look at all that grass. We can still mow. Fan. Oh, you know what? Yes. First thing I got to buy is a tractor and a wagon and get our cows. Let's take this first episode and get our 100 cows started. So I'm excited, guys. I really, really, really am. And it takes the pressure off of deciding now what we can do. Uh, my suggestion is... Um, they did do updates on the graphics of the map, so it's not as strenuous uh, on your... So you could play on there with me with a laptop. Uh, also, keep in mind, like I told you guys earlier, that I record at 11.30 p.m. Eastern. Um, who told me to remind you guys that? Uh, what happened to my joystick? Oh, that was weird. It just kind of stopped. Oh, I see. It came unplugged. It's... It's getting low. I have it plugged in. It's a, it's a cordless one, so I can use it cordless. But uh, i got to charge it. There. Now it's plugged in. Now it shouldn't. Um, I just got this little Mahindra to run around with. Uh, yeah, so I think it was... I don't know who's the one that told me to, put it, to, to pin it at the top. I can't remember. Somebody important because it's somebody that always is on my... Um, recordings i think it was i don't think it was russell per se i can't remember somebody told me to remind you guys eastern standard time we're going to record for an hour if you want to be on my recording okay so if you want to be on, on my recording talking and shooting the beep, beep 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 with me uh we we have a couple of rules about that uh make sure that there will be no uh, what, what am I doing here? Okay, tractors. We got to get large tractors. Large. Because we're going to go in New Holland. New Holland, New Holland. We're not going to do any of these articulated ones. Fury doesn't like those. Uh, Actually, we were going to go case, but I downloaded New Holland. So let's go the T8 Genesis. Sweet. If you guys remember, this is the one that I was using on Hastings. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to use any front loaders or anything like that. We're going to use pickup wagons. Okay, so 335000 already. Let's get us a trailer to buy some stuff with and unload some green. Uh, We've got to get a little bigger one. Does this hold? i got to make sure they hold total mix rations. That holds everything. Okay. Uh, I also got to make sure it fits in the... Uh, let's get a smaller one for right now. Let's go back over here where this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, this one, right? Roush. Uh, wait, 
This, yeah, capacity. This isn't the one I use, is it? Is this the one I used? That I liked? Or was it down here? I can't remember, everyone. I can't. Oh, it was, was it the Rudolph? Yeah, I think it was the Rudolph. Yeah, let's get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one I like. I'm going to go red. Red with green. It looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> um, That way I'm not... I was laughing so hard. Um, One of our... Oh, see, there it goes again. There it goes. One of our new family members was uh, picking on me and saying... Um, saying what I got to say and walking around in a circle for 15 minutes. It was funny. I got a kick out of it. Um, I usually don't get upset about when you guys say stuff like that. Um, <laughs> just try to make it as as uh, nice as we can just because we have little ones. But anyways, the rules for multiplayer are going to be simple. Very simple. Uh, one of the rules will be I think we can go right this way, can't we guys? I think so. Uh, there will be no cursing or cussing if you're on microphone. However you guys want to say it, no swearing whatsoever. We have little kids in this in our family members here and we don't want to offend anybody and we don't want any parents coming back and getting upset with us that is for sure um and it will be we're helping each other we're going to do it together if the multiplayer takes off and we have tons and tons and tons of people that want to continue to play on it and do that sort of thing then we'll open it up to everybody creating their own farms and then We'll rotate in and out of who works them or something. We'll, we'll work out some cool rules. But uh, no swearing. Uh, no being belligerent. We don't talk about politics. We don't talk about... Uh, and we definitely don't bash each other, you guys. The same rules as my channel has every day. Um, just come on. You laugh. You have a good time. I am absolutely... Listen, jokes are jokes, but we have to be able to keep them somewhat... Uh, uh, kid friendly if you know what I mean whoops that was my fault I always do that though I did that yesterday with uh, I was getting uh, trying to get the uh, bales remember <laughs> okay ready we're gonna buy ourselves one million gazillion kachillion uh, I didn't like the fact that this says it was flat, but look, I've, I've even fixed this, but when I first put it down, boy, there was a big jagged edge here. Uh, let's go here. We are going to stick with, we have, do we have Holsteins on Old Street and Farm, or do we, do we have Brown Swiss? I don't remember now. <laughs> don't ever get old, everyone. Uh, let's go with the brown Swiss on this because I think we went with Holsteins on that. And I, you have to go 60 at a time because I edited it down. It, it was to where I can put in whatever I wanted, but now I've got it set up uh, back to the original. It was causing conflicts. Whenever you try to buy um, more than 60, okay, there's 50. And then we're going to buy another brown Swiss. Uh, yeah, that's the right one I want, right? 18 months. We want to give. There. Now we have 100. You see up in the top corner? I've edited this pen to hold 5,000. So when they have babies, if they're boys, we're going to send them down to the other original farm. And that's where we're going to raise our beef cattle at. Okay. So now we get to start feeding them some mixed rations. It's going to take a lot, but that's okay. We're, we've got time. Ooh, can that fit under there? Ding, 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 ding. Where is it? There it is. This is strictly for Ranger. Because normally I would just buy a... I would, I would just get some hay bales from the store. But this is realistic as well, too. Um, what side am I on? Uh, tip side back. We are going to tip side left. Uh, this is realistic, too, because we uh, uh, we used to be able to buy mixed rations from the co-op. They would have it in uh, little bags, and it wouldn't represent what we're used to, but it would get the cows through if we had to. 
I should probably just come right in the other side. Drive right out that side. I think I will next time. All right. Bob's your uncle. 100 cows, everyone. Look at my nice little fence. It's pretty. White picket fence for all of you guys who want a dream life. Look at that. I don't want to get too much into it because remember what happened on Old Stream Farm. It, uh, it, it killed the game. We are also going to utilize workers on this map. So, yeah, you don't want to tip. Actually, you want to continue to tip. You never want to... Oh, a little secret, everyone. Um, you never want to... If you're taking this trailer um, out to unload your... What do you call it there? Combine. You, don't, you always want to load from the left side because the tarp... You see the tarp hanging over the edge? You don't want to overload that because then when you undo, undo the tarp, you'll have a bunch of uh, uh, crap inside of it and stuff like that. So you always want to load the, the little red strip up top there. Is um, That is our tarp that goes across. And I'll prove it. Uh, cover. See? So you always want to load, take your pipe, and have it on that side. If you're using this this style trailer, so we couldn't turn it the other way to unload it anyway, so it wouldn't be realistic. So this will give us thirty six thousand. Uh, for only you see that was the thing is it's almost cheaper to buy mixed rations than it is to uh, to uh, make it. I mean it's 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 cheaper to make it. Obviously it's free. Um, but welcome, welcome, welcome all the new family members. Thank you guys for all of the wonderful, wonderful comments and uh, the voting. And John and I were having some discussions today in the... Uh, I, I just respect the guy. I think that anybody who is honest but is respectful, I, I can't do nothing but respect them. And John's been uh, nothing but respectful in the comments. Uh, Ranger's been nothing but respectful. Uh, Russell... Everybody who does it, generally speaking, we only had one issue with one person, and I had to remove one comment. That was it. Other than that, man, oh, you guys are awesome. Look at that. Did we just barely clear that with a... Ha! Or it went through it. One more, and then we'll check. Because uh, I'm assuming with 100 cows, uh, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous how much food they're going to take. Now, I'll drive over here real quick. Let me show you. Get back out a little bit here for you guys. Uh, this red silo here is just a standard silo, but it is a multi-silo. Got this on the in-game mod hub. This holds everything, and it holds 6 million, and that's, or 5 million. Uh, no, wait. Let's, uh, let's go down here. Construction. Uh, silos. The red one. It holds 5 million. Not edited or anything. That's the way it is. Okay. This brown one is a fermenting silo. This also holds 5 million. We'll just put straight grass in that. This one here you guys have seen before on my No Man's Land challenge. This is a grass dryer. Now, this will also give us uh, digestate. So, with 100 cows and making digestate, we're going to be able to use a slurry spreader pretty darn quick on this now I do believe this 40 something thousand what was it it was 36 and then 18 so 46 53 53,000 liters should get them started I have to make sure I'm away because that, that opens up and it pushes the wagon up see it But these pens aren't big enough to have one of the unloaders unloads. We'll, be, we'll make sure we buy ourselves. This this will be strictly for our animals. Um, 
And we'll go ahead and we'll leave this. Actually, no, I don't want to leave it inside. This one is strictly for feeding our animals. And we'll put the cover back on it. And we'll leave her right outside because she's got a cover on her. This one will be to feed the animals. The Rudolph. I like that little thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, now I got to drive all the way around. I forgot I didn't leave a spot. I got to drive literally all the way around. That's pretty funny. I was doing all this off camera and getting it all set up. But we've got a huge grass field here. And we own the one by the uh, by the farm, too. But I left this grass because if we ever want to expand and make it bigger, um, we can. You know what? I don't even need to go in there. I can look right from here. Uh -huh. Didn't even barely read it. Um, but let's, let's just let that go right now. Um, they got 60,000. We'll see in a couple of hours if we need to buy more. Uh, if not, we'll, by then we'll have our own, um, hopefully. But this series, like I said, is going to be super slow. Um, super, uh, whoops. I don't know why I'm going that way, Fury. Come on, wake up. <laughs> uh, just relaxing, chill and relaxing. It's going to be talking about, um, different aspects of farming and when we want to teach about something, I'll, I'll take a whole episode and teach you guys. Just make sure you guys are asking in the comments. So, you guys ready for uh, trivia? We haven't had a trivia in forever. Um, I'm going to go down and buy an auger wagon first. Get that back to the farm. And then I'm going to buy our harvester. And we're going to go up and start harvesting. Uh, and then i got to buy a trailer with a truck. So, that's what we're going to do first. We're going to... I've got the, uh, so you guys know, I downloaded for Hastings, uh, the, uh, buy, it, you pay for it and have it delivered, basically, it's store deliveries, um, it's in, it's in the in-game mod hub, and it'll charge us, because I'm telling you right now, for any of you guys who've never played on a, I mean, most of you guys have played on a 4X, but for those of you guys who've never played on a 16X map, I have, and it is absolutely ginormous uh, when it takes you like 35 minutes to drive from the store to your farm oh that was great it's like we ran out of gas or something <laughs> no I bumped my thing and it came unplugged it's really dead I was playing flight sim today I'm sorry everyone I was trying to learn how to fly and uh, I was just using my joystick and getting all the buttons configuration. And my wife thought I was having a seizure, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I was doing the old man hold up the controller and steer at the same time. <laughs> oh, it was funny. It was funny. I should, say, I should start posting pictures. Uh, I think I like, is it, what's the one that I can change the color of it? Ooh, yeah. This one is awesome because you can go this one here. Yeah, you can go this, and then we're going to go New Holland Blue. Um, and this holds, like, four batches of... Uh, isn't this funny how a 435 tractor looks tiny? Just can't wait for follow me. But yeah, so I downloaded that mod, and um, so that'll help us when it comes to um, Hastings. That's for sure. We'll just get everything delivered right to the farm. Uh, so we'll I'll I'll pick a farm that's already pre-made, and then we can expand on it if we want. Uh, the nice thing is, is the people that are playing with me on that map will have the. Uh, sorry, that's me. Uh, we'll have the opportunity to have input on the farm. Everybody who plays will be a farm manager. Uh, basically, you'll have the ability to build whatever you want. The within whatever money we have, obviously, we're not gonna. We can't just go spending money. Um, but I can tell you right now, from experience, that first mat, the first field, a new farmer, if we start on that, is 154 acres. Now. Our first field here is 32, and that one's 18, so this one's a 46-acre field. 
So the nice thing is, I can play on this with some bigger stuff um, myself, and I don't have to. Uh, it's not that excruciatingly big. The uh, the 16x map. I'm sure you guys wanted to see trees. Uh, the Hastings is absolutely you can't play it single player. I know. I tried. Remember, guys? I tried. I tried. Um, I got to move this up. We're going to store our equipment here, but if we need some more sheds, we got the room up at the other farm um, to bring them up there because that may we may be putting some big sheds up there for some storage because these big a piece of equipment may not fit in these. Now, the other thing I need from you guys, I need some help. Maybe Jerry can answer this. I saw a video today that where I can sell the junk from underneath the... Uh, um, what is the different designs on this? No. I do like the double white. Yeah. Uh, or you can sell like the bales and stuff. You click on it and sell. Now, has this done away with that since the update? I don't know. I do know. First time you, first time me. Now, we are going to get... Why am I in auger wagons? <laughs> We're going to get the Wilson double trailer. Because um, I had it hooked up to this one, remember? And it was just, it's too ridiculous. Uh, let's try just the single. Just the single. The single, the single, the single. Oh, you can't. Guess it'll be black, everyone. Can I pick? Can I pick New Holland blue, though? Can't really pick New Holland Blue. That's not Blue Holland Blue. So let's go white. Something different. Yeah. Now let's see if this one at least looks good. Now I do know from my truck sim experience, the uh, Mac Superliner and the Mac uh, Type R are really small trucks. Let's see. That doesn't look too bad, does it? That really doesn't look too bad. All right, good. As you guys know, I'm a big proponent on having it look proportionally right. I don't want to go absolutely crazy. But you can see we're going a little bit bigger here now. A lot bigger equipment than the last time I played on this. We're still going to go super realistic speeds, and we're still going to go super realistic uh, equipment. I do know that the Max Superliner exists. I know the Wilson Pace Setter trailer exists. Uh, I know the New Holland T8 exists. Uh, so, that's where we're going to be. We'll see you use realistic equipment, um, realistic speeds, except it'll be bigger. So, if we're going three to four miles an hour on our field, instead of it only being a four meter header, it'll be a 14 meter header or 13.7 meter header. Now on Hastings, I'm going to tell you right now, we are not going to go realistic speeds. We are going to go game speeds. Um, because if you were to take a hundred and... Now, now, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Let me get out here for a second. I got to turn right here. Uh, if you did it, then again, if we have three people and two people are harvesting, this may be too big for this map. gonna yep, come in here um you could you could probably harvest uh probably with three people doing it probably realistically 10 to 15 acres an hour perfect and we're going to set this right by the edge of the field. There we go. We got enough seat space. I got to see what side the cover's on. Uh, oh, I got to turn her around. Got to turn her around. Okay, ready? Truck sim. Beep, beep, beep. Because <laughs> we want it. We can't unload over the tarp.
Now, several of you guys have expressed the when I like it, when I teach about speeds and stuff. So I'm going to start doing more of that every episode with every uh, Let's Play that we do. These are the only two Let's Plays I'm going to do for a while. Uh, unless a map absolutely falls down. Now, if Dark Force comes out, I'll drop this one and I'll grab Dark Force. Because my old stream farm, I'm absolutely becoming very in love with that map. And the reason why is it's, it's set up perfect. Because it's small, the store's close. Everything you use is tiny. Um, not tiny, it's just like we're using 6 meter equipment on that. Except for my lime spreader, you guys know. So we're going to go right here. So we got plenty of room to bring our auger wagon around. And that way we can unload the... Oh, yeah, we'll have to unload the auger wagon this way because that's the pipe. But we won't be hitting our tarp. Perfect. Okay, so now we can head down to the store and buy... Oh, Harvest. This is the one I downloaded from the in-game mod hub. It dropped yesterday... It's $430,000, so we've already got a million-dollar loan, and we've only got a harvester and stuff, so we're definitely going to have to sell this grain right away. Um, so we own this one. that I or This is a mod from the in-game mod hub, the TX32, and the CR1090. Now, this was standard in-game. Uh, this one they put in this time, but remember the, C, the CR1090 was 19. That was in-game. So this is the one that comes. We only holds 9,300. Uh, we're going to get this one. And the nice thing about this is this comes with a header uh, when you download it. And it's the header that we all love. See how it, it's got the little hooky thing already on it? So if you're doing big equipment, trust me, guys, we're either going to use New Holland or we're going to use Case because I'm not playing this header trailer stuff uh, on a 16X map. Okay, now here's where you guys get to see this. Um, yeah, we're going to go 3.2. Actually, no, nah, there's not enough increments there. Um, I watched a video today. This, this mod's sick. I already tested this like several times. Um, where a guy was harvesting at 8.2 kilometers... Which is what, like, well, if 10 kilometers is 6, um, 8 kilometers would be like 4.8 to 5 miles an hour, right? And he kept commenting in the video of, he felt like he was flying. Now let's see what the, let me get straightened out here. How do you get those brown fences? Pretty cool. Let's take a look in here. Ooh, two monitors. Sweet. Super sweet. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was he was uh, harvesting around at, like I said, it was 8.1 or 8.2 kilometers. Uh, and he was harvesting in Britain. Great Britain. England, I guess, is would be right. Us uh, not very smart Americans. We don't know how to pronounce anything. We're not very smart. We always say Europe. <laughs> uh, if you watch all the reviews, when an American does a review on one of these maps, they're like, oh, it's a European map. Well, yeah, but where? <laughs> That's why when I watch Dagger Winds or I watch Virtual Farmers reviews, they know. They're from that area. They know where, where, where it's at and if it represents the, the right. They both came out and said this map was a super, super realistic to the area. But it feels good, though, to be back. And the difference is that we're not going to allow ourselves to be handcuffed on this map with weather. Remember uh, when it, we got stuck on it and we it burned Fury out to the point where I had to take, like, four days off? I was, like, I was starting to see, like, 15 things going on. Um, but we're going we're gonna to do it the right way. And if we get everything done in one day, we're just going to go breathe and we'll fast forward to the next day. And we'll get through it. But I want to go slow and take our time and do it the right way on this map just the same as we do on um, Old Stream Farm. Now I don't know about the, I'm gonna hit that fence, but 
We're going to take this 450 horsepower uh, harvester just janking up there. There's my, my dad. You guys know I quote my pops all the time. And uh, my dad, one of his one of his favorite sayings was, just jank it up there. <laughs> you get stuck, just go, just jank it. All right, so we're going to get right here. We're going to go down the first edge um, backwards so that we got a chance to turn around. A big header, everyone. But... And boom, and you take those in. And then now we go on this and we unfold it. Now the, oh, let me show you guys something real quick here before we get going. The harvesters, I will tell you my favorites. Uh, the Ideals, this Massey Ferguson makes the absolute most awesome, awesome sounds when it unfolds. It's like, it's like, it's super cool. Um, and then, of course, the Case Axle Flow 9250. Now, the Case Axle Flow 8250, I think Grizzly Bear was saying that it's going to drop any day now. That's the one I really want to try is the 8250. Uh, the 9250 is really big. Now, granted, this big harvester is kind of overkill, but not really because if you think about these two fields that we own are 40 acres. This one straight across over here. Watch, I'll bring up the uh, this grass one here we own. This is only a five-acre grass field, but that's exactly what it's going to be used for. Um, but look at this. Ready? When we get into this field. This one's 42 acres alone. So it's they're not small fields by any means. They're not Hastings, North Dakota map size ones, but they're, they're not small. This one is... Nine, is only 19 so but it's cool is my tractor still running yeah typical fury um but i figured we'll go bigger equipment on this one and we'll go s the, the small super because uh there's a lot of people it's funny everybody likes their um their way of gameplay and me included i prefer the small farms i prefer that's why i like uh um, I'm gonna cut this. I was gonna go straight down there, but we're gonna come up back up around it. Wow, really? <laughs> hang on, hang on. There she goes. <laughs> uh, turn the header back on. Turn on. Oh, gotta make sure we're okay. Good. Now this this is just a little bit loud. Turn that off, and off we go. See, we're still harvesting at normal speeds. We we'll have some straw in the grass that we'll have to pick up. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no! I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I gotta disable that. We're not using straw on this map, although I could sell it, but. Here we go. We'll just, we'll just let that go there. Let's see how wide this... Oh, yeah. She's going to cover... This will give us an extra level of fertilization, too. Look at that. Look how wide that goes. This is great. So we get to cultivate that... Well, we'll get to plow it right in, and it'll give us a level of fertilization right off the bat. So then all we'll have to do is cut some grass and give us some... Um, look at that. That is great. This mod is absolutely fantastic. Because you sometimes you get the harvesters that'll just, like, spread... It'll, it'll, it'll come right out the back with this. This is nice and wide, and it's covering the 14-foot header, or 13-foot header. Great, and it's overlapping into the uncut barley, which is great. That covering the whole thing. 
Makes me happy. Makes me super sweet happy. Then we'll take our auger wagon, unload it, take it over to the semi. When the semi is full, we'll take it right up. Um, but we can also take out more of a loan, too. Uh, it, I'm not worried about it on this map because we're playing so long. We're playing extremes. So it, I'm not. we'll have plenty of time to pay it back. I'm not worried about that. Especially once we start. Because you know darn well, once a day, 100 cows are going to make some serious, serious money. Milk-wise. I'm going to cheat a little bit go through the hedge here. Which I probably would in real life, too. I would have lifted my header first. Look at that. We are... This is great. This is the way a series should be. And I learned my lesson because I got on here the first time and I was super excited and I thought I'm going to do it nice and small, which is what I grew up with, nice and stuff. But man, you start harvesting these fields and you think to yourself, wow, they're huge. They are big. Um, they're not big Hastings wise, but hey, 42 acre fields aren't, aren't small. Uh, it, it's literally like right there to being a large map. And these aren't even the biggest fields on the map. Uh, I had GPS downloaded. I got rid of it. I did not like the version that they brought to 22. Uh, so I've got the vehicle control add-on. Uh, it's just... I'm not happy with all of the button configurations that you have to do to use GPS. Now, they updated it to where you can just hit like Alt-C or whatever. And it seems easier, but... You still got to put in the angle that you want. You still got to do all that stuff. Now, is that realistic? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, because you have to do all that stuff in game. Or in inside the cab. The other thing is, try harvesting in here with a 15 meter header. Oops. That was me. I just want to square this up because it drives me nuts when it's not somewhat square. There. Now we missed this section because I backed up. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, we'll catch it. Oh, a little bit. We lost a little bit. But hey, a level of fertilizer for free when we don't use straw on this map. Yes, I could have sold it. But how much would I have made from straw and then spent on fertilizer? Because we know that the first day here, we're not going to be able to, we're going to have to plant cover crops on this. But I'm hoping uh, that we uh, make some serious money. Now, on Hastings, though, I don't even know if we'll have any kind of animals whatsoever. We may. You guys know me. I always I'm kind of preference to the cows anyways. Um, but there, it would be nice just to have a straight up farming map where we're not worried about anything but just getting our fields and preparing our fields and things and maybe down the line have a dairy farm. Because I'll use this as my super large dairy farm and go from there. But see what I mean, everyone? Like a 13.7 meter header and I started about 10 minutes ago already, and then we haven't even gone one headland. So, this you could get away with really big fields on this. Uh, there is another one. Oh, man. Farm Sim Guy did a review today. I'm excited about this one. Um, as you guys know, I'm preference to the uh, European map style. Because when I grew up, no field was square. No field was perfect. Uh, everything was like this. It had corners, and you basically made fields where you fields where you could. Uh, so that's why I'm preference because that's exactly what you're used to. You can't just go in and, uh, which is kind kind of the way I why I steered away from Pacific Northwest because I was messing around with it today, and it is literally just. It's a great map. 
I, I, you guys know me. I'm not on here to, uh, I don't bash anybody. I don't, I don't, I don't. I try not to. I say my opinions, and there's, that's different, though. Uh, we're all entitled to our opinions. Uh, but it wasn't, like, you see how there's trees here, and there's hedges, and it just feels like it's alive? Hey, there's our farm. Uh, Pacific Northwest is just basically wide open area. Um... Now, Hastings, on the other hand, though, that feels like a real place. It feels like um, like you're really in a place. Like this one here, uh, anybody who's played on this map, you feel like you're really here. Like you're really into it. Which is why I liked it. But I was getting some serious lag on it, and I almost gave up on this map. And then when I fixed my computer, I was like, nope, now I know why. Because the first go-through on this, I never had any issues. The whole 13 or 14 episodes that we did, I never had a single issue. Uh, I had a couple of stutters here and there, um, which I haven't had since Oxy did the update on this, but I think it was the Mer Meridian Shed over there. And now if you notice, he's it's green. It used to be silver, so he's changed that part of it. And if you notice, uh, Alien Jim did an update on uh, No Man's Land also. To where uh, he took both cell points out and put just there's just one cell point for everything now, um, and he took some stuff out that were graphic counts. When map authors are doing that stuff, they know, they know, they know, which means they play farm sim. Not everybody in the world has the most powerful computer. In fact, for 13, 15, 17, and half a 19, I didn't either. I had a potato, as, as I called it last time, a sugar beet one. <laughs> um, it was worse than the potato. Um, but yeah, I got started really late tonight. It's 10 minutes to 1. Uh, I got really started late because I was getting I was getting this set up, but I wanted to get... I'm trying to get the multiplayer set up as well. Uh, to get mods and stuff downloaded for that. Because I don't want to go on there with anything less than this size header because if you're harvesting at three miles an hour look how long it's taken us to do this but if we were going two if we had like three people on that map and two people are harvesting um and one person's running grain and i don't mind doing either either job um that one person now see that's the other thing too is what people need to understand I just can't. My OCD kicks in and it drives me. Whoops. I don't want that. I keep forgetting to hit the other button. There we go. Um, Because uh, the one button my on my uh, joystick, the B button that's set up that I have. I have um, an A and a B button. The B button is set up for just to hire a worker. There we go. And uh, I have to hit the other button on the little top bumper button there. Uh, kind of like a controller NB button to uh, uh, do it. But anyways, my, I got to finish the story. Oh, I was all over the place there for a second. Um, like people will get on a map and they'll go two or three harvesters or four or five harvesters. Uh, farm, some, farm some guy is notorious for this. And... He's got like four John Deere harvesters, and they're all like 13, 14 meter headers or 60 foot Draper headers. Um, be aware, though, the, the the 60 foot Draper that's in the in-game mod hub, it's got to be fixed. There's something there's there's something wrong with it because when you try to put the header itself on its own trailer that it comes with, it it acts all wonky. It's uh, not cool. But anyway, so. He'll get on there with like four, five, six um, harvesters, which is great. I mean, you're on a 200-acre field. Makes sense. Hold that thought. Just give him a little room right here. There we go. And uh, what he'll do is, he'll, okay, so if you got four harvesters... All going around at six, eight miles an hour, okay? 
How does a person or two people or three people keep up with that? It's impossible. So if, you, if you're harvesting realistic and you're harvesting at three miles an hour, two harvesters, one guy can keep up with two harvesters. Cause you, you, especially if you've got like one like this. My tractor's still running. Uh, cover off. Cover, cover, cover. Awesome. So that it, it everybody plays the way they want to play, and that's what's so fun about this game. You can, you can all play it the way you want to play it. Um, and that's what's really cool. I tend to play it more on the realistic side, but hey, if you want to go through and harvest at 20 miles an hour like DJ Goham does, hey, that's awesome. That's on you guys. That's there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing. And in fact, I support it. In fact, I tell people all the time, play the way that makes you happy. Uh, because that's definitely what I do. And you guys love it. You guys, the ones who watch my channel all the time. Uh, as soon as I deviate from the realism, you guys notice it. You guys are like, wait, what? Why is, why is Fury harvesting at seven miles an hour? Uh, I get it brought to my attention all the time. Now our next, when we get this headland finished around and we get into the second one, I'll drive alongside of them and let, and I'll fill up as we go. Let's see, let's see how much we can go here. I think I can fit like four loads in here, I think, if, uh, when I was doing my testing. Not quite sure, but I want to try to get this headland done, at least the first one done before the first episode's up. Should be right around 20%. Yeah. It's like, it's like Fury tested it or something. All right, pipe in forward and then I want to straighten that real quick run back to my tractor so I'm probably not going to use this again for this episode because we only got like seven minutes so I just want to straighten it up and get it more away from the edge here there we go all right back to Havastan It's great, though. I love you guys, each and every one of you. Oh, I didn't even ask the trivia. Oh, my gosh. Um, I was so busy talking away, and I started asking it, but then I forgot. Okay, you ready? Today's trivia. Another cow one. How many times a day does a, does a cow chew? It is, it is absolutely going to blow your mind. How many times a day... Does a cow chew? In other words, how many times a day does their jaw go up and down or back and forth or up and down and back and forth? Because cows don't have teeth like you and I do. Like you and I have teeth. We, our front ones, you know, our uh, incisors are made for like cutting big pieces of meat off. And then we have our molars. Cows have nothing but molars. That's all they have. They, they Their food grinds. So... Their, their mouth, their jaw goes up and down, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> like you guys can see it. Then it also goes side to side. Uh, in the famous words of uh, Mr. Miyagi, side to side. Always go side to side. <laughs> um, I'm a big movie buff. Uh, you know, you're either left side or right side. In the middle, guess so, gets squished like grape. <laughs> I remember that when that movie first came out, it was absolutely great. My dad and I were on the back porch because uh, he took me to see it in the movie theater, 1984. He took me. I was old by then. Um, and we both went to see it in the movie theater, and he, uh, we came home, and we were trying to put out. My mom was so mad, too. We were trying to put nails in with one hit. <laughs> my dad and I for like three and a half hours on the back porch we were trying to do that 
is absolutely awesome. Absolutely great. Those are the kind of memories that I miss with Pops. Um, I don't, I don't miss his tirades. Um, I don't miss his. It, he did. He was. A, he was an old time farmer. He had a temper. When things weren't done right, he was. He could, he'd let you know. Um, so I've tried to do the, a little bit different with my kids, but I still see pops come out, and I, every once in a while, when like uh, a few a few years ago, I was fixing the the sink because you guys all know that after I got out of farming and went to school, I owned my own construction business. So we were putting a new sink in the kitchen, a new countertop, new sink, and I had it all unhooked. And my son, who was probably 15, 16 years old at the time, I, he comes walking in the room, and I said, nobody put water down the sink. He says to me, without even missing a beat, well, isn't that what a sink is for? And I absolutely lost my mind. I said, are you kidding me, right? Now, you look back at it and you think, all right, now that I'm, you know, he's grown, he's got his own family and he's on his own and everything now. Did I really need to say it that way? <laughs> did I really need to? Or could I just said very easily, hey, bud, don't put anything down the sink for right now until I, until dad gets that fixed. But no, I had to bring out pops and, and say the things that I had to say. Um... The other thing I think I'm going to do on this map is once I get done with the second headland, I'm going to go this way. Square it right up this way. I also don't have to worry about lifting the header too much without straw in the way. So let's try to get this like right here and go as square as we can get this edge nice and square because this is where I'm going to start. I'll hire a worker right up here and then I'll be able to go back and forth. But then I got to hoss the grain over to the grain, or grain elevator because I'm not using the ones on the farm. This is where GPS would come in handy, Fury. <laughs> I do have it. I have the vehicle control add-on, and I could use it, but I'm not going to. This is this is a do-it-yourself farm. Poison. Man, that straw at the back is nice. Get this edge done here, and then we're going to wrap this video up. This video, this video, and then we'll be back tomorrow on old Stone Cold Creamery. <laughs> that map has got me. I've been thinking about that map forever. Um, you guys remember uh, in 17 South Mountain Creamery? Oh, it was a great map. Alright everyone, we made it for the first episode. We got our cows. We got everything going. Let's see how many um how much milk we got. None in the first hour. They haven't used anything in food either so far. Uh, on that note, please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for your each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's family. I almost lost where I was there. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share. Enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And as soon as that flips over to 10 o'clock, I will stop the video. Um, hope you guys like it. It's going to be super realistic, but longer and just relaxing. Um, I got back into it because I was watching Grizzly Bear Sims video today, and I forgot how much fun it was. This map's a blast. I'm glad that my computer's fixed now so I can come back on this map. Make sure you turn your V-Sync on, everyone. <laughs> uh, and on that note, Fury Machine will catch everyone on the flip side. It's 10 o'clock. We come back. We'll be still harvesting. Have a great one, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow over on Old Stream Farms.